Hey, it's Todd with InGear Garage. Today we're pretty charged up about installing a new Powermaster alternator onto our 40 Ford. Now you can see we have a small block Chevy in our 40 and originally we had a bulky, hunky GM alternator mounted up high and it just didn't look right on our old hot rod. So we did a little research and we found out this new 100 millimeter Denso style alternator from Powermaster has plenty of current for our low content hot rod. Now what I mean by low content is low content current needs. We don't have a lot of electronics on this car. We have a single electric fan, breaker points distributor, some dash lights, tail lights that are LEDs, and some headlights. So we don't need a lot of current. And the 100 millimeter puts out 35, over 35 amps at an idle, and over 75 at top end. So that's going to be plenty for our application. Now the 100 millimeter alternator from Powermaster is an exclusive design. They came up with their own housing and everything. And the nice deal is that it's a direct replacement for the very popular 93 millimeter alternator that's out there. The 93s just don't have much idle output, let alone even top end output. So these are a great upgrade and they bolt right in place of that 93. And speaking of bolting in, these are a breeze to install because Powermaster offers a number of different brackets, small and big block Chevys and other applications that allow you to mount these things down low and out of sight. Now we went ahead and started with installing our charge wire onto the alternator before we installed it in the brackets just because in our application it's a little hard to get to with the rack and pinion steering down there. Be sure to use a heavy gauge charge wire, multi-stranded. Powermaster offers a bunch of different gauges and different lengths, so give them a holler for your application. Then we went ahead and installed the bracket. There's a couple different spacers included and we were able to space ours out to where our pulleys were going to align. Just bolts right into the block. And once that was done, we installed the lower bolt, which is the stationary bolt, onto the bottom of the alternator, got that snugged up, moved up top, and again, a small spacer in between so we could get everything lined up correctly. But we got that on there, tightened everything up, and then installed the belt. Once the belt is on there, you really tighten that one up. Powermaster wants that belt really tight down there so there's no slippage. Then we were good to go. Well, there you have it. Quick installation of Powermaster's nice, compact 100 millimeter alternator. Love how it's down low, plenty of current for this old hot rod. And if you'd like to learn more about what Powermaster have, has to offer, check out PowermasterPerformance.com or give the tech guys a call. They'll help you out with whatever you need. Thanks for watching.